This is Wild About Utah. Author Yui Morales describes exploring how she and her son discovered their new home in the United States in her picture book, Dreamers. We are stories, she writes, and it reminds me of a catalog of painted stories from my mother's ancestry. My great-great-great-grandfather Ernst Otto Wilhelm Franz von Damitz emigrated from Prussia and settled in Illinois in 1848. The Art Institute of Chicago exhibited his paintings almost 50 years ago. In sharing my migration family history through his art with my friend Lisa Saunderson, we note his depiction of beautiful architecture, placement, order, and glorious castle views. Lisa unfolds the magic of visual art daily with students at Utah State University and Edith Bowen Laboratory School. His paintings capture the essence of place, preserving his memory of home, both the home he left and his new one. Lisa has taught me, along with our students, over the years to capture place in Utah's deserts, wetlands, and mountains through artistic mapping. As we draw the delicate arch in oil pastels and trace with watercolor the bird migration pathways on the shape of Utah, she shares her wonder of place as one who migrated here herself. My roots are very coastal, Canadian, both east and west, and I married a South African. We moved here from Cape Town. In the first year living in Cache Valley, I walked all over it with my little baby daughter. I pondered the landscape and the feeling of expectation I had whenever I heard a seagull. The sound triggered a visceral sense that there must be an ocean around here somewhere. The landscape held quiet, waiting to be understood. When I finally learned about Lake Bonneville, it all made sense. Lisa, share a little about the cyanotype Utah maps you make with your artists. In fourth grade, we look at creating a map of Utah and consider animals, plants, even people. The heritage is tied to migrations, human and animal, recent and ancient. I teach that to the children so they understand the story of the place we are in. For example, our map of Utah is illustrative of landscape. The lines we use in our legend are descriptive. The state boundary is of one kind of line. The indigenous territories are defined by a different line that continue beyond the state line. The map is meant to be educational, a visual reference to help us remember all the people of the place. When we create our cyanotype prints, we use native Utah plants that have cultural significance and consider how animal and plant migrations don't see any lines. These sun prints developed by ultraviolet light help the artists imagine Lake Bonneville landscape, people living in this place, and yield evidence of the passage of time, looking and then wondering. Leaving and coming back to Utah, you find profound beauty and abundance. I've seen it over and over through a different lens as I find myself in new geography, and I see how the children identify places they recognize and have been. It is enchanting how you can watch and document layers of history at this place at this time. Consider how you might capture your experience of place through art the next time you are out in it. I'm Lisa Saunderson. And I'm Shannon Rhodes. And and we we are are wild about Utah. Utah.